Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, I will let you through that how you can become Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate. And the exam is called DA100, which is related to Microsoft Power BI. So as we know that uh, for the last uh, many years, Microsoft BI Technologies is being the number one and in the leading in the industry and uh, Microsoft also offers some certifications regarding your uh, career path like uh, if you want to become a data scientist or data engineer data analyst so there is one certification which is called uh, DA100 which is related to certified data analyst associate so in this video tutorial I will share some key points and learning resources and uh, also guide you that how you can make your chances increase to clear this exam so let's get start uh, this exam is uh, DA100 which is analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI so in this video tutorial we will discuss that how to prepare for DA100 exam uh, some key learning resources and 10 awesome tips to increase your chances to pass this exam which will be discussed in this video you will make your chances higher that you can pass this exam so let's get start and discuss that uh, how we can access to this exam course outline and uh, some learning resources and then uh, 10 awesome tips to pass the exam all right so this is the link uh, you can see on this address bar or if you can just open google and write uh, exam da100 so you will find that official link uh, which is of docs.microsoft.com so exam da100 analyzing data with microsoft power bi uh, if you are appearing in this exam if you are planning to appear in this exam after march 23rd 2021 so you can expect some new topics which has been added in the uh, outline so we will go through that but if you are planning to do it before March 23rd 2021 then uh, you have to follow that old uh, course outline okay so data analyst enable businesses to maximize value of their data assets by using Microsoft Power BI and we know that Microsoft Power BI is a wonderful BI tool which helps in cleaning and transforming data and have the advanced analytic capabilities to provide meaningful business value through their uh, the data visualizations so if you are uh, at the position currently at a position of data analyst or even in a as a business analyst uh, and your organization is already using Power BI or planning to use Power BI in future the certifications will lead you towards the next step in terms of monetary return in terms of promotion in terms of good recognition at your workplace so I highly recommend that if you know Power BI if you are already using Power BI uh, then it's perfect time to give this exam and uh, make your resume more uh, worthful so you can schedule this exam uh, this particular exam cost you around 165 dollars as a USD but for example if I am living in some other country uh, Pakistan so it says 80 dollars okay and there is one more uh, option given during this pandemic so uh, if you if you have not a professional job person and you have been impacted by the COVID-19 so you can schedule this exam in 15 dollars okay so after watching this video you can just go to this link and click on schedule for USD 15 if you are affected by or impacted by the COVID-19 otherwise you have a regular price quoted here okay so let's go to the course outline and see what are the sections will be tested by the Microsoft so there are five different sections which has a different uh, percentage as a weightage uh, the first section is related to the preparing of the data second is model the data third one is visualize the data fourth one is analyze the data and fifth one is deploy and maintain deliverables so when you click on download exam skills outline 
so a PDF file with with the uh, outline will be downloaded on your system and when you open this uh, as I told you that if you are giving this exam after March 23rd 2021 so there are few topics have been added in different sections uh, whereas if we go through the course outline the first uh, key point to notice here and to note here is that uh, you should not skip any topic okay so make sure that you cover all the topics mentioned in all five different sections okay so if you are already using this application uh, might be you are using power query or you are using dax uh, for analytics purpose so this course outline will be easy for you but make sure that you cover each section each point uh, you practice all those points do not skip any point or any section and uh, if you are already creating dashboards so you you might be familiar about the visualizations pane and latest features also so make sure that you go through this course outline this course outline also covers the desktop part and as well as cloud and sharing part as well so make sure that you are strong in that particular section as well okay so if you are giving it after march 23rd so there is one point added that is connect to a data set using the xml endpoint and if we see another section like uh, visualize the data so they have added a new point which is called a created create a paginated report okay and uh, if we move towards the last sections so they have added some more points like configure large data set format and in the create and manage workspaces configure subscriptions promote or certify power bi content so these are new points has been added those who will be giving after march 23rd 2021 and uh, all the points which are in gray is is definitely a part of the old outline and the latest as well so they, these are included right so we have gone through the course outlined definitely uh, you need to download this course outline and prepare for each of the section in much detail make sure that you do hands-on okay uh, now come to the learning resources so within this page when you open this link for the exam da100 and when you scroll down you will find uh, the learning resources for each of the section which are mentioned here uh, absolutely free so if you want to learn getting started with Microsoft data analytics, prepared data for analysis, model data for analysis, uh, visualize data, data analysis. So all these sections uh, notes has been uh, or you can say the online free modules has been created by uh, the Microsoft, uh, which is absolutely free. Right. And if you can open Microsoft Learn website, which is docs.microsoft.com slash en hyphen us slash learn. So this is called Microsoft Learn website where you can just search Power BI. For example, if I write in search bar Power BI and all the content regarding the Power BI can be avail is available here. So it will be very easy for you to prepare for each of the section regarding this exams from here with with no price absolutely free right so i will go back and you can see here if you are interested in more different kind of certifications offered by microsoft so you can just explore your own schedule and learning resources that how you want to pursue all these certifications right all right so now this this was officially by the microsoft they have uh, uh, simplified uh, and provided detail of this exam uh, by giving us the course outline right exam skills outline five sections and the learning resources and these learning resources are very good in terms of which will increase the chances of passing your this particular exam now what more what additional resources we can go for for clearing this exam is you have to follow five to six YouTube different channels which are very good so the first one is Excel basement so open YouTube and uh, write in the search bar Excel basement and uh, so do subscribe this channel so there is a playlist called Power BI with Raheem Zulfika Ali so when you click on this playlist uh, you will find 70 videos related to the Power BI now what you need to do is you need to just uh, again come to the course outline exam outline right and all those topics which are mentioned here you can search and uh, you can just start learning all these uh, stuff from this particular channel 
right so most of the topics are available in this particular playlist moreover you need to have some more uh, subscriptions for the youtube channel you you need to follow some more uh, youtube channels so the another youtube channel which is very good in terms of learning this is a channel guy in a cube so you can just explore this channel and the playlist as well then another channel which is avi singh power bi pro so he has some very good lessons awesome lessons regarding the power bi and you can download uh, his lessons absolutely free uh, another channel which is for uh, for most effectively for the dax so there is, there are 212 videos in a, in a playlist called dax fridays uh, the channel name is kurbal so you can do subscribe to this channel and uh, go through all the dax which are necessary to learn for the exam so you will find all these video tutorials absolutely free with their files another channel which is sql bi sql bi and uh, you can explore this channel as well according to the topics which are mentioned in the exam outline the last channel is uh, another one of my favorite is enterprise dna uh, they also upload some good power bi tutorials in form of webinars challenges and some tips and tricks so you can go ahead and explore this channel as well so i have uh, mentioned six channels of uh, youtube which re which relates to the power bi and which will help you to clear your exam which is da100 easily if if you uh, search out all the topics uh, mentioned here in in the list and you will find that in these six channels easily right now the last part gone through that how to prepare for da 100 exam uh, i have told you some learning resources in form of microsoft learn website and six different youtube channels now the last part of this video tutorial is 10 awesome tips to pass the exam all right so the first step is learn every day i have seen a lot of users that they don't learn new things every day they are just uh, in their comfort zone with respect to this application so power bi is an application where we have a lot of things to learn and uh, definitely we need to focus more on the exam outline for the da100 so make sure that you learn one or two or three topics every day with some proper examples and scenarios don't give up big breaks in in your learning second is volunteer and improve something at your work so once you are involved in the practical project of power bi or even your organization is using the power bi and even if your organization is not using you can just download the power bi desktop software absolutely free and install in install it on your on your laptops or okay start creating some dashboards on in this application so uh, if you help someone so definitely you will learn new thing okay help a colleague so if your organization is already using this application and you find that any colleague has been stuck in in some kind of a challenge with the power bi so when you help someone uh, you start learning that so this one is join a forum and solve a problem so if you are on facebook if you are on linkedin uh, you can just uh, join some groups or join some public forums available for the power bi or the official power bi community forum uh, where a lot of people write their queries so start solving them so once you start solving them you have a good practice and a good command over the application get a book uh, there are a lot of books available digital books or hard printed copies so do follow do search in google that uh, what what are those experts who have written their books on power bi so get a book one or two book good books then participate in a contest uh, before appearing for an exam uh, either you must have uh, some kind of experience like six months or a one year with this application that will gives you an extra advantage before appearing the exam so if you if you have already an experience of six months one year or more than that it's a good thing but if you don't have some experience if you are a fresh one so start participating in power bi contest so you can search uh, competitions regarding the dashboards in power bi and you just start participating in winning and losing is another part but definitely our target is to pass this exam so number seventh is replicate an idea from other industry to your work 
So if you see any video tutorial regarding the BI and it matches with the course outline, start implementing in the industry, start implementing at your work, make some improvements in your dashboards. This is how you become a basic user to an intermediate user and then advanced user. Number eight, join a newsletter or subscribe to a blog. So there are many websites and many trainers available for the Power BI. They have their websites, their blogs. Do read uh, new updates regarding this application. Jump to YouTube. I have already told you six different channels regarding Power BI. Uh, there are many channels. Uh, there are many experts needs to be explored, but uh, those were six, one of my favorite channels. So I have mentioned in the video. So definitely YouTube makes a chances of increase in learning and passing your exam. Join a training program. Definitely this is this should be there. Uh, not as a optional but as a mandatory uh, join a formal training program of power bi so if you are new or you are exploring for the first time and before going for a certification join a training program that makes you more disciplined uh, towards passing this exam as well and last but not the least believe that you are awesome it's very important if you have the confidence when you go with the confidence in the exam uh, after just uh, having all these 10 points in your mind and you have applied all these things uh, the last thing is that you must be confident that you will pass the exam and i hope that this video will make you pass da 100 exam and if you have already passed this exam do write your feedback in the comments so that uh, the new users or or the new beginners regarding this application can have a benefit from your comments thank you